Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Man, where we left off, we didn't have the wall built yet. We didn't have a gravesite built either. Now, in the meantime, what happened was, I believe I sent this, these two, because these two fellas here, they are currently out on uh, scavenging out in the world. Um, we had the I had the wall assembled. We put a graveyard up because little Timmy died of radiation because we did not have a medic medical center built in time as being told now I apparently have another colonist that has been uh, irradiated so that's just wonderful um, hopefully he's getting in there we're low on food though so um, we have been scavenging wood from the buildings here that were left behind that have been uh, were pretty much destroyed and whatever uh, I can't keep my meals down that's uh, yeah, well, you know, you kind of got radiation on you there, homie. Um, we have been scavenging that in plastic, which we need to do our buildings, or build our buildings and whatnot. And I also learned that the, uh, which we call it, I built it somewhere, I'm trying to remember where it is. There we go, the outhouse. The outhouse leaves a lot of toxic ground, contamination to the ground. Um, which I had it built right here, and I decided to destroy it and move it over here, closer to this. As we can tell, the burial site is contaminated, obviously. Um, who would have thought that, right? Uh, this is telling me something. This is a stockpile, and it's trying to scavenge. What are we trying to scavenge with this? Some woods? I don't know. Yes, a wood pile there. Looks like we got a wood pile. Good scavenge that guy there, I think. Uh, I think I got too close to some radiation. Uh, a delirious colonist is carried into the camp. Something seems to have poisoned him, and he's unable to say what. Should the colony be willing to take the risk and try to ex experimental and intense treatment to get the colonists healed? Enough to, to say what might have caused these symptoms. I don't know what that minus medical means. Take things slow and steady. Um. Source of sickness, it's not worth the gamble with people's lives. The man is taken into treatment carefully, nursed back to health. When he finally wakes up, he is unable to recall what happened. The source of the condition remains a mystery, but at least he's safe. Well, that's unfortunate we weren't able to find what made him sick. But it is, uh, you know, what we had to do. Now, I'm putting a fishing pier in. I'm going to try to, we, we need food, uh, bad. And uh, we probably need another medical center as well. This has got its one worker in there. We're doing good. Treating 24%. Okay. People are hungry. And I don't want people hungry. Um, that's the recycle center. So, we're, yeah, we're still, you know, we're still trying to pull the plastic away. This one's only got 140 left. I'm going to start collecting some wood and stuff. Uh, that's trees. What about food? Um, hmm. Should be actually from this guy, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we should be able to collect food from there. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, it's because we don't have a lot of free wall. Oh, yeah, we do. We got we have two colonists are irradiated. Go get some help. Get some help. Yeah. So if you look here in the world map, we have one expert. I guess that's what we're gonna call them. That's what they're called. Um, one expert is over here, uh, hopefully trying to get some clothing, which is of course good. And the other one here is trying to get some basic tools, which we need for our, uh, I'm going to call this the base camp, but it is a community. Um, construction complete, so we should almost have everybody homed up. Yeah, we are out of food. We need food like ASAP, meow. Um, okay, let's get another guy working on this. We need people on this ASAP. Um, the more, more food we can get, the better off we will be. Um, as far as survival goes, which seems to be a pretty, pretty big issue. Um, now, we can install what I was reading, scout towers, which will give us more range and remove a lot of this, uh, I guess, cloud of, or fog of war, um, as I, I've known to call it. Now, we got these big geezers here, big old holes in the ground. I'm assuming this is, oh yeah, what is a nuclear aftermath? That's right, so... Yeah, I don't even know why I questioned that. It's kind of in the title of the game. Looky there. Ain't the brightest ground in the box. But uh, I would imagine there has to be a way that we can remove uh, a lot of this contamination. Um, oh, they're waiting at the gate. 
are they? I don't see anybody at the gate. Uh, oh, that guy. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got to recruit a specialist. And he wants money. Um, or some food. Uh, we can't help you. I'm sorry. We don't, we don't, we don't have enough. Um, having spent his life with wildly successful raiding parties, I'm sorry. I cannot help you, Rick. That's a shame. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet meet again. Uh, the specialist heads into the wasteland with their gear. Yeah, well, I don't have the food to spare whatsoever, nor do I have the money. Um, we can produce weapons too. Look you there. This game seems to be as it's, it's quite a, it's quite complex, and there's a lot in, in depth as far as uh, survival. Now we definitely need to figure out how to decontaminate areas. Good lord. Um, I would assume it'd be here, the burner, the outhouse. There's really not a way to do that. Um, heats buildings during winter storms. Simple heater designed for small communities. Oh yeah, looky there. It heats up everything within within range. That's awesome. Uh, we will definitely construct that. I'm going to put it like right here. Yeah. That's not a priority build, though. We do not need that right now. We just really need to keep collecting food. So this is what our a trapper. Um, let's see. We need to get these animals here. But hmm. yeah. Again, uh, there's no way for me to remove contamination. Scouting tower. It seems the game seems to really want us to put a scouting tower down, so this is what we're going to do. Um, trying to think of an area that seems pretty prosperous uh, as far as the side goes. Um, we'll see. A lot of buildings here. Maybe something worth, uh, you know, going into. So we're going to put it right here. It's not what I wanted to do. Scavenging complete. Come back home. Same for you. Alright. I gotta zoom out again. Okay. I'm not hurting anymore. That's that. That's a good thing. <laughs> um, yes, we need food. We need food. Um, probably need to put a couple of these up. Honestly, what is this? Uh, water. Yes, we did need more water. Um, how many people have homes? Uh, shelters. We can we can house 21. That's good. Um, that that's that's actually what I like to hear. Uh, alrighty, let's go ahead and get some more roads constructed. Uh, we're gonna need them. Get these, like, main road here. Um, and then I'm going to add another road. Can we not remove that? Is that not possible? We're gonna put another uh, tent up right here. Of course, there we go. Looky there. Try to get some more shelter built for people. Now, we're going to have to figure out, of course, how to construct. Uh, well, we really just need more people. We're going to need another medic tent, I'm sure, with the amount of contamination that is happening. Oh, here's our researching. What are we doing? Building upgrade required. Not enough space. we got to upgrade the hunting cabin. Okay. Resource. Okay, so oh, I didn't even know this was here. So we can upgrade a whole bunch of stuff. So we can actually upgrade water pipes. Okay, okay. Solar power pavement. Oh wow, we can make energy storage. Okay, so that definitely means that we can get something going as far as a generator and power, which is what I believe that I had seen uh, as far as reading about the game goes. Okay, all right. Low on food. I am well aware of this. Now, can I send... Let me click the research center here. Yeah. 
We're gonna send him there as a, uh, yeah. oh. Let him get some research points together. See if we can't, uh, you know, assemble more things. Oh, the scouting tower, okay, there are, people are putting stuff together for that. that. That's a good thing, that's what we need. Um, they're building some roads. We got supplies going for the other tent to be built. If we could try to get some more people in here, that would be awesome. Um, again, we need more food production, so I'm going to need to put in another fishing hole over here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Trapper doesn't seem to be doing as well. Um, and, okay, that was the right way. Perfect. The more food we can get, the better off we'll be, actually. We may have to resort completely to fish since the, what is this? This is the trapper. Okay, that's right. I knew that. See, they're producing nothing right now. Which is not, that's not good. So I'm actually going to go take one person off of that job. Um, we're going to move your work area over here. Okay, so you see efficiency? New efficiency, 85%. Okay, so we can actually bump you up a person there. Um, what is this? Oh, never mind. Oh, ladybugs, if you have a bug, you can uh, report it there. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so that'll bring the food up. So that should also help food production now that we have moved their efficiency area. We'll get the fishing port built. Um, again, we're going to have to try to get some more people in here. I don't know what you're doing. Happy that you're not very happy. Why not? What is wrong with you? Poor shelter. Well, I'm sorry. We don't have a better solution. Um, at the moment. So we have another house built there. Has the scouting tower been built yet? Oh, it's under construction right now. Yeah, these simple scout towers surroundings remove the fog that covers the land. This expands the buildable area and uncovers new resource deposits to scavenge. They can also defend themselves when attacked. Okay. Danger, keep out. Majestic deer. So I guess the trappers actually don't do uh, anything. It has to do with that. Are we able to upgrade this too? Uh, oh, it does give the option to upgrade there. Oh, it, is, it has not been unlocked yet. I know we're low on food. Go ahead and come on back home. There he is. There's our specialist. He's done made it back. Be that guy. Just walks through the gate. Cause he's that. He's that good. Um, yeah. What's this beeping at us for? What are we harping at? Born and raised, new beginnings. Colony prestige. Yeah, we're getting there. We're trying. Okay, that's all that matters. That's all we can do. We can just try. Not really too sure what the well's for. Must we, oh, we do have a person on watch at the gate. Where's he at? I don't see him. I guess he's not there. Once we get all this removed, we'll also be able to build from there. I think I got two people working the recycle station, don't I? That is not the recycle This is the recycle Yes, I do. I got two people working there. So they're they're pumping out quite a bit of plastic for us. Everybody seems to be pretty hungry right now. That's that's not good. It's not good at all. Um, the trapper should be bringing in some though. I would imagine. Anybody over here working right now? Doesn't look to be that way. So we got to be careful with the forest. Apparently, we can't we can't destroy a lot of forest because it does. Eliminate food sources. Science points gain. Open the tech tree. Okay. Open this bad boy up. Guardians. Guards are the backbone of defending the count of defending the colony against hostile animals and people. Assign people to guard posts so they will gear up and focus on protecting their fellow colonists and reveal the surrounding areas for expansion. Hmm. 
the game pretty much told us that we need to do that, so. Oh. The urban os occult, excuse me. With a large scale food industry and the ruins and diseases running rampant, major cities were eventually evacuated or abandoned. These days, their lonely, eerie structures serve as a grim reminder of the past events. Pockets of radiation roaming. And roaming bandits looking for easy prey make them treacherous, but profitable places to scavenge. The scouts reckon one city close by could be worth a visit. We'll take a gander. Um, you know. Once we get enough, uh, we're going to have to get a, a specialist as well as uh, a couple people to go with them. Which we don't have guns though, so it's kind of an issue. Like we need, we need, we need some weapons. Um... Figured it would have gone uh, more. Oh, he's always oh, oh, he's having the scout the the terrain. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm sure we can scavenge other buildings for concrete and stuff. Um, move or, move environmental stations work area here to dispose of. So we can once I guess we have to research that. Um, yeah, this definitely you know this game like I said it's it seems to be very complex. Um, because of everything you have to do, there's a lot. There's a lot. A lot of moving parts. A lot of things you have to achieve. Um, wood has been depleted. Is that okay? That's recycled. That's not that. He's talking about this guy. What they're hooting and hollering at me about, and that's okay. We got plenty more to scavenge from. There's plenty of buildings over there, so we can. Food's starting to come up. We can get some food in. Let's see. If production consumption. Production's only 12. Consumption's 32. That's not good. <laughs> That's actually really, that's 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 pretty bad. Um, yeah, um, we'll have to get that figured out. People get hungry, people start dying. We don't we don't need people dying. We need more people though, in order to achieve other things. So I have one person working here. Where is the other lumber mill? I only have one person working there too. Oh, that's unique. Um, Building idle, that yeah, doesn't need to be. Capacity's at 100, it says it's always good. Really don't need that right now, I would assume. I don't want nobody focusing on that or having to do anything with it while we wait, but I do need this built pretty quick. So, yeah, there's that. Storage types, no free carriers left. Consumption. Comp Construction completed. I'm cool with that. 100%. Like, we need more food production. So bad, it's not even funny. Um, but we're going to take a recycler away, and we're going to have to add one to the fishing pier. We, we need all hands on deck producing food. Like, we... It wasn't so difficult after all. What? Do what? I know we're low on food. I'm trying to boost production here. We got production coming up a little bit. Confirm. You done good. Alright. So we got our specialist. We got all our specialists back, I think, almost. He's, he's still making his way back home. It's good. They need clothes. We're trying. We're trying. Um. Yeah. We got. We got. We got plenty of firewood. Um. Yeah. Consumption's one. Okay. Look. See what. You're out of a job. We don't need that right now. All right. What we need is is food. So make yourself useful. We don't, we don't need, we got plenty of firewood, shoot, we got a consumption of one, and we got 94 firewood stacked up. I think we'll, we, we will hold out for a little bit. I don't believe we'll burn through it that, that rapidly fast. Um, hmm. Golly, this is, see our area has grown more. We got scrap metal too, we can get scrap metal now. Oh, hello. Build another warehouse. 
Okay. That's a warehouse, so that's a work area, isn't it? That's a work area, food storage. I remember it said build a warehouse a while back. It's a guard post. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. That's a warehouse. Okay. Uh, we'll put, we're going to put a road right there, so we'll do that. And, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. We'll do this. We'll do this. Perfect. Got a little road built. That'll start getting built. But that'll do it, guys, for this episode. Um, I'm up plan on playing this a little bit more in the background to try to further grow it um, we definitely have some things to work on we do need more food production we need more people to make more food we can put another fishing pier over here and one over here we have two of the ponds to access um, as well as some researching to do most definitely some nurses look is there anything else that we can research over here how about the bunk beds that's a nice building upgrade uh, infrastructure water pipes this, the food is really what I want to work on, so we'll do, we'll research that guy right there, so there we go. We'll get that going, then we'll get a hunting crew set up and actually start killing some deer. That will definitely uh, bring us more food. We'll get our other specialist home. There he is. Welcome back to camp, homie. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for watching Surviving the Aftermath. More to come on this. We will, like I said, continue on uh, building our community to see how far we can go. Will we survive? We don't know. Um, but be on the lookout for Battlefield 2042. Is it release is, or its release is soon to come? Uh, coming up pretty soon. Um, uh, you know, also Forza 5. I'll, I'll put maybe one or two Forza 5 videos once they figure out how to fix the crashing on launch issue. Uh, typical modern day game launches. A uh, you know. Everybody knows how that goes. They're, they're never complete. Um, but, nevertheless, once it is completed, we will be playing that. Um, but yeah, I'll be trying. I'll probably, I think I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll plan on doing a full Metro playthrough. Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, Metro Exodus. Um, really big fan of the Metro series. Love those games to death. They're, excuse me, they're very fun. Very good storyline. Even if you like reading books, very good to read. So more to come on the channel. More to come, more to come. Um, hopefully our community makes it a while. Um, so it's a day count. So, But yeah. Well, I will see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. And until then.